Okay, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to create a Pinterest mood board for your business. Um, first of all, if you don't have Pinterest, just go through the process of like getting on it. It's very easy. It'll have you like set up your Pinterest um, like user face, just click through, you know, you don't, don't think too much about it. Then it'll land on this page. And if you come over here, this is your profile. Um, so we'll go to the profile, which you'll have nothing on. Just click plus, and you're gonna create a board. And if you wanna do recipes or whatever you can, but we are going to just title this um, like branding board for business. If you wanna make it secret so nobody can do that, see it, you could do that. I don't really care too much. So it'll come up with some automatic pins for your board. They may work, they may not. We're just gonna go done. And then we're just gonna start searching. So go back to that little Pinterest symbol. We're gonna start searching anything. So it could be, let's just start color palettes. And it's gonna come up with a whole bunch of color palettes. Um, and if you find one that you really resonate with or you think your ideal client would resonate with, you'll click save. And it didn't go, it might not go right to the board. So let's see. Um, one second. If you go about doing it that way, it's just going to save it to like your profile. So if you wanna save it to an actual board that we've created, um, you just click the pin, so it pulls it up. And then right here where it says profile, change that drop down to branding board for business, click save. Next, you wanna look up food photography, interior design. It can really be anything um, to get inspiration for your business. So maybe I'm looking through and I'm like, mm, kind of like the light and airy look of this one. So again, we'll make it larger and we will save it to branding board for business. Oop, didn't save. Um, and then you could even do like websites, very broad, but if you wanted to get more specific, you could do Squarespace websites or websites for, um, if you are a coach, websites for coach. And scroll through. Maybe you really like the colorfulness of this one. Go larger, pin it. So as you are pinning things, you'll start to notice like, wow, I really kind of tend towards bold and you know bright colors or wow, I really like that light and airy. That is all what I'm gonna use to then create the client's um, website. and But this really just helps me hone in what their vision is, what their branding is, um, especially if they don't already have their brand colors, typography, logos. This really helps me to hone it in and figure out um, a website that best serves kind of, they, especially if they are the face of the brand, best serves them. Um, obviously, when I have them go through my client questionnaire, that's where I start to figure out more about the client that they serve. And so their their color palettes, a lot of times, if they are the face of the brand, that's a direction I'll go. But I also factor in their ideal client and what will draw their ideal client. So hopefully this helps you with figuring out how to work Pinterest.